In this video, we're going to work with something that's a little bit different from what we've done before. Um, I've heard it referred to as sawing jing or sawing energy or filing energy. Um, basically, the idea is that you're growing the amount of energy that you put into it. So it's kind of combining a different energy that's like that growing energy where when you're applying something, you continually increase the amount of energy that's flowing into it. But this one's used more specifically to attack um, sensitive areas or uh, nerve centers or even different blood vessels. So the idea is that you're using the blade of your hand all the way down to the elbow. You can use any part on there. As you begin, you start light and then you slowly increase, well at least gradually, not necessarily slowly, but you gradually increase the pressure and the force that's going into this sliding along either a sensitive area or a blood vessel. So the way that we do this as a bag drill is you start with the edge of your hand. You're gonna again use body motion, but as you begin this push, see how I'm rotating the bag with my forearm? This is what would happen if I kept constant pressure on the bag. It would just roll as I came through. But instead, I'm going to increase the pressure as I turn and sink and allow that, see how it starts to push the bag away? So it continues to twist the bag, but it's also pushing it away. So the idea is this can be used in all kinds of different angles. It's difficult to practice it in different angles on a punching bag. So the easiest way probably is just to go straight in front facing the bag and then twist and sink into it as you slide your arm back along the bag. But you don't want to just slide your arm and have the bag not turn and you don't want to just push. It's a combination of the two there. So if you were to put more power into it, you can generate a lot of power using the same mechanics that we used for a lot of the stuff that we've done in previous videos. But it's how it's applying that power that's different. It's that growing power combined with that sliding, filing, sawing power, whatever you want to call it. So as you come in, the bag rotates and you push at the same time. So this is if you imagine that you're on someone's ribs, even, that would be all kinds of, like, not fun for them. If you have someone's arm and you're on the back of the arm and you use that same power that you're using here, it's, especially if you do it behind the elbow or sensitive area on the, on the back of the arm, it's going to cause a lot more pain than if you were to just push in, maybe just using the palm of your hand or just the forearm. So the idea is that you can take something that would normally just be not fun and you can make it even more not fun. And if you do this on like an artery, then the idea is that you could potentially damage that artery, which would be um, only to be used in a very life and death sort of situation. So once again, the practice of this is very simple. Start facing the bag, edge of the hand on the bag. It's going to rotate as you begin to push. The bag's going to move away as it twists and you're going to sink into your stance. So always be sure to check that you have a firm root, that the motion is coming up through that root, that it's being directed and powered by the waist, the energy is flowing from the lower dantian, through the arm, generating the power into the bag, that you're staying relaxed as you do this. You don't want it to be all muscle pushing the bag. You want it to be body motion. You want it to be relaxed as you flow through. So start nice and light, just gently pushing the bag away, flowing along, turning the bag as you push it away, increasing the pressure against the bag as you continue through the motion, and then later it'll grow faster and become more powerful, and you'll start actually bouncing the bag away at the end of the motion. And then of course as you develop more and more power, more and more power can be put into it. So it's a fairly straightforward exercise on the bag as far as how you execute it. Now the trick is to translate what you learn to feel here with that growing power and that force that you're putting into it and translate it into different angles and different situations, whether it's the back of someone's arm where it's coming this way instead of coming this way or however you choose to apply it. Now a variation that can be done with this is if you imagine that you're coming across someone's neck rather than maybe pushing across their ribs, if that's what you're imagining is you're doing it down low, you can come up at an angle and do the same kind of motion as if you're coming across the throat or the arteries. Starting with the hand, growing, 
and ending with the push with the elbow. So same idea, as you do it, body motion, as you go through, make sure it's coming from the base and you aren't just pushing with the arm. You wanna make sure that you're coming from down below from the base and sending that energy up into the bag. I hope this video has helped you in your training at home. I hope it spurs some new ideas for you while you're doing um, bag training and working different drills. So thank you so much for watching. In this video, I want to talk to you about a product that I've been using for a lot of years now, something that I absolutely love. And if you're into taking supplements, you will probably absolutely love this too. It's called Daily Complete, and it's put out by a company called Pure Trim. This is what it looks like. And the reason I love this so much is because, one, it's a liquid, so I don't have to swallow pills when I take it. Two, it has over 200 nutrients in it. So instead of taking several different supplements, trying to get the same amount of nutrients that I can get out of this bottle, I take one ounce of this and I'm done. Now this is one of the products that I used extensively while I was over in China training and I think it was invaluable for me for keeping my energy up and making sure I was getting proper nutrition while I was doing strenuous training all day long. Now the last thing that I really like about it that's awesome is it's just simple to take. So if you're like, all right, it's time to take my supplements with my lunch or whatever, you literally just open it up, get a little ounce glass out, pour yourself an ounce, done, swallow it. And that's it, you're done. You've taken your vitamins for the day. Another nice thing is it tastes pretty good. It basically just tastes like oranges and a hint of vitamin flavor to it, if you know what vitamins taste like. So anyway, I hope you try it out sometime if you're into taking supplements. If you're not, I still hope you try it out and I hope you learn to love it as much as I do. Daily complete.